Renegade Craft Fair and yes, we're starting this intro with a nice voiceover. Hey, there's Jasing and we're gonna start showing you all the cool fun things that we're doing. Whoop, did you see that? Really fun. There's so many vibrant embroidery, jewelry, candy, perfumes, <laughs> and it was all fun. We're on a natural high of energy and just fun. It was... <laughs> Everyone was so happy and chill. This is like the nicest event, market, craft place. We were there basically the whole day looking around, touching, touching here, touching there, asking questions, and touching some more. <laughs> I paid them! <laughs> now you have to buy it! <laughs> and I did! And it's actually all over the all over the country so make sure to go on their website and check on what next date they're having this craft fair and follow them on instagram because you just get to see all the amazing things that you want but you can't actually afford but then you're here wishing that it, you could afford it just like me and we will all be super happy family and then we will someday just buy everything and be like super like but like i said there was definitely things that are affordable go with a budget i went in there with a budget in mind and I didn't go overboard and also because just saying kept me on that budget goal meta y de que yo vi eso plátano I saw uh, me and my friend just saying try these chips they're so spicy I wish I could then I bought some kimchi dip I love kimchi and with plátanos even better so spicy I wish I could remember where they were and then I'm like okay I'll add this to the list of like one twos my list is kind of long it's a grocery list but aren't, don't we all have grocery lists of things we want? <laughs> you start talking to them and they tell you this whole story about the process, about the material and it makes sense why it's the price that they give it. So it's just patience and knowing what you want. That is what I remind myself. And then eventually after saving up, having that budget set, but valuing valuing the product and not just buying it out of impulse so let me know in the comments too if you like this style of vlog and if you want me to continue vlogging wow, we're so excited right next to you just look pretty and smile because <laughs> <laughs> she's gorgeous <laughs> literally the day after but i have to tell you guys it was such an amazing event to go to seeing the local makers and artists talking to them hugging them kissing them talking about the process of making the ceramics the jewelry even these earrings that i'm wearing today they're they're from from the vendor that you saw in the video and she got these shells from south africa and like stories like that you can't get through just buying online by buying locally, you get to experience so much more and it's so, so good. And I don't know, I literally am like drunk happy still from the day like Jose and I are. <laughs> so before I end the vlog, I cannot end it without the tutorial because I felt so inspired. And also you guys have been asking me a lot, like a lot, a lot to upload a darning tutorial where you can actually see the thread because if you see here in the link I do have a tutorial but it's black on black so now I'm just gonna show you the same tutorial but with a contrasting thread so you can see how it works out and that will be the end so now in the hole I expanded it with an embroidery thread and then this is my trick my mom actually showed me this you take the thread you fold it in half and then you bring it through and you see this loop here you enter it and voila you lock the thread in without even needing any knots and then you create almost this checker like pattern where you're going horizontally first and then you weave in the thread one by one taking your time the thicker the thread like the more thread rings that you have inside the easier it will be so i would say to practice with embroidery thread just so you know how to go up and down and see the pattern because if you go very thin and if you're a beginner it's gonna be hard so try embroidery thread and keep the six strands inside and by the way if i'm using terms that you don't know or like materials that you're not sure about just dm me on instagram and i'll be super happy to answer any questions that you might have 
Now back to the darning. So back to the darning, you create this, this straight horizontal lines, and then you go vertically. And if you notice, um, after doing it a few times, if you do horizontal first, it'll look different than doing vertical first. And that's pretty much it. That's our tutorial. Super fa facile, and you don't throw clothing out because if you're just like me, you want to be as sustainable as possible, and this is the way to keep your clothing much longer. It's called the visible mending stitch, or also the darning stitch, if you're looking more into it. Check out other amazing tutorials and artists that are using this stitch to create super colorful and cool clothing. <laughs>